Welcome back to Trailer Park Cooking. I'm Jeannie B. Delicious. And today we're going to make funnel cakes extra special today because we're going to be using maple syrup frosting with bacon bit crumble on top. So first we're going to start with maple frosting and set it aside. That way we don't have to worry about it when we're frying. And in that maple syrup frosting you're going to need pure cane sugar or well powdered sugar. You're going to need a little bit of evaporated milk, mapleine, which is a maple flavored um, imitation flavoring, and some butter. So that's for the frosting. Now for the funnel cakes, what you're going to need is flour, one and three fourths cups of flour. You're going to need about a quarter cup of salt and you're going to need, or not a quarter cup, a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. Baking powder, vanilla, cream of tartar, more milk, and sugar. The one ingredient that also is going to make this fantastic is bacon. We're going to leave the bacon on the side until we're ready to fry that up by itself. We're just going to cut it into little pieces and fry it up and make little crumbles to put on top of the funnel cakes once we've drizzled it with that maple syrup topping. So first, I like to mix all my dry ingredients together. So we've got the flour, and that's one cup. And then a third. We're going to use two thirds cups. So two thirds of that. Okay, it was a fourth of a teaspoon, and this is a half teaspoon. So we're just going to use a half of that one. Salt. And then we're going to use three fourths teaspoon of baking soda. So it's one of these and half of one of these. I'll go ahead and put just a teaspoon in there. And then cream of tartar. We'll just do another half teaspoon of the cream of tartar. And two tablespoons of the granulated sugar. So for the wet ingredients that goes into the funnel cake mix, um, we're going to put all the stuff that's wet in a small bowl. And it just so happens that it consists of eggs, vanilla, and milk. One egg. a cup of milk and I'm using canned milk because I think canned milk tastes better and we use one cup of milk and then a teaspoon of vanilla so this is our wet ingredients of the funnel cakes and this is our dry ingredients before I add this to the wet ingredients, I'm going to make that wet, that dry ingredients all mixed together. So this is my Zen Pro handheld mixer, fabulous handheld mixer, mixing up my dry ingredients. So all the salts and all the other stuff that's added in here is well mixed before I add my dry for my wet ingredients. I'm going to do the same thing to my wet ingredients. I'm going to mix it together nice. I love the Zen Pro Mixer. It's so easy. There we go. Now I usually just make a little circle on the dry ingredients and I add my wet ingredients. The circle. And for funnel cake mix, the reason why it's called a funnel cake is because you put it into the frying pan with a funnel. 
Now you want the consistency to be looser than this, so that's where the milk comes in. We're going to add a little bit more milk to make it be kind of a pouring consistency. We're going to make the maple frosting now, or glaze. And our first ingredient is powdered sugar. So don't need that much so but I'm going to use like a cup of the powdered sugar oh, well that's a little bit more than a cup we'll just go with it shake it up a little bit we've got our maple flavoring teaspoon half a teaspoon it's nice and pretty the flavoring. Take the leftover butter here. And then just a drop of milk. And we'll mix. I'm going to add just a little bit of milk because I kind of want this to be a drizzle. You can already smell the maple in here. It smells delicious. Can't wait to try it with the bacon. Mmm. Yep. Tastes like a maple bar. <laughs> All right. I'm going to put that in the refrigerator, keep it cooler. So I have a, a frosting tip. I think it's called a star tip. I'm not sure. I don't even know what size it is, but it's got a little bit of a hole. You don't have to have a star tip in order to do this, but I'm going to try it and see how it works. This is parchment paper. And with the parchment paper, I'm going to make my funnel. So I took about a two to three foot piece out, but I'm going to fold it in half. And that way it's a little bit stronger. I'm going to hold it in on itself and start rolling it to make a funnel. So it's like big at one end and smaller at the other. So that's a funnel right there. And to make it wider so you can fit more batter in it, put your hand in the inside of it. And you can tighten it by widening your hand on the inside. That's what it looks like there. So that's a funnel. So then you take your star tip and you stick it down in the inside. So there's the, the funnel, but I'm going to need a little bit of an opening on the end, more so than it is. So I'm just going to cut it and push my funnel in there a little bit more. Now that that is down there, um, and this larger part of it. Okay, I'm going to grab the batter. I'm going to pour it into the funnel. And it's going to start dripping out the bottom, which is kind of what we want. Although I don't really want it on my floor. I'll set it on its side. You're going to fold this in to secure it. So there, you see how the batter is coming out the end. You can see the cake tip. Okay, so you have the funnel cake mix in your bag. And you're just going to start in the middle. And of course, it's going to come down. And you're just going to go in a circular motion until it forms a barrier on the outside. And I just zigzag across it a little bit. And that creates the funnelish cake. When it turns golden brown, which it's going to do quickly in the hot grease, we're going to flip it to the other side. See how it's turning brown already? Flip it over and cook it on the other side. It doesn't take very long to cook these at all, especially in a deep fat fryer like this. 
This is just a four cup deep prep fire. Okay, I'm gonna take my two sticks. Look at that. Beautiful funnel cake. Just gonna drip some of that grease off of there and move it to my plate. And do another one. Same thing. Circular motion. And then it's just a repeat of the process. I'm going to throw some bacon in this pan back here, cut it into some slices. Looks like the bacon's ready. We're going to put it on the paper towel so that it can drain, so we can crumble it without it burning our fingers. So I got my bacon here. I'm just going to bring it over to where my plate is. And the funnel cakes to where the plate is. And grab my maple frosting out of the refrigerator. So we have our funnel cake. We're going to take a little bit of powdered sugar and sprinkle it over the top of the funnel cake. Just dust it. Do it on both sides if you want. So make sure you take your frosting out soon enough so it can come to room temperature again and be soft enough to be able to spread on the top of your funnel okay. cake. So I just take a little bit and I put it on kind of like butter because it's frosting, you know. And you could drizzle it if you make it thinner, drizzle it. But I want my bacon to stick through the, that maple frosting, you know. And then I take my bacon and I break it into little pieces on top of my funnel cake because I love the bacon topping. Bacon! All right, look at that. Bacon maple funnel cake. I'm just going to pick it up and take a bite. Mmm. So awesome. The nice rich flavor of the maple. Mmm. The smoky flavor of the bacon and the funnel cake that's just spongy. You're gonna love this recipe. Join us next time for another great recipe on Trailer Park Cooking. I'm Jeannie B. Delicious. Bye y'all!